Today on Passport Kings, we're counting down the top 10 haunted places in the world. Engage. I'm Rockland. I travel the globe for leisure, exploration, and education about different cultures. Join me, and you too can be royalty. This is Passport King. Welcome aboard, abroad. Most people don't believe in ghosts. As the comedian Paul Mooney says, if ghosts were real, America would be haunted by the slaves of our ancestors every single day. But it is hard to deny that some places would just give you the creeps. So who is to say that the people who have reported strange phenomena have not just been creeped out to a further extent than what everyone else experiences? This is a list of the top 10 most haunted places reported in the world. We are doing 10 through 6 on this video and the top 5 will be on the next video. Whatever you do, don't watch this episode at night or in the dark. <laughs> number 10, Barry Pomeroy Castle. There are a number of legends associated with this castle and according to the English Heritage Guidebook, it is reported to be one of the most haunted castles in Britain. The terrifying stories are always featuring two female ghosts. They are called the White Lady and the Blue Lady. Many people have said that when they are passing this haunted location, the blue lady summons them for help. She uses many enthralling tactics to lure them to her tower. If a fool goes to her, it is said they will fall to their death in mysterious ways. She is thought to have been the daughter of Norman Lord and is said to wander the dungeons mourning the loss of her baby. She murdered her own child because the baby daddy was also her daddy. She wasn't too thrilled about being the hillbillies of England. The white lady is said to be the spirit of Margaret Pomeroy and she is said to haunt the lower dungeons of the castle. Margaret was imprisoned there by her sister, Eleanor, who was jealous and a hater of her beauty. Their stories are frequently blurred together. These chicks have no love for the other side. Number 9. Dominican Hill in the Philippines there is a hotel in Baguio City, Philippines, that is situated at the top of Dominican Hill. Long before it was reconstructed into a hotel, it used to be a rest house and a small seminal hall. During the Second World War, a great number of nuns and priests were beheaded here. Many people today say headless ghosts are always creeping around at night with their heads on dishes. Many people agree that they heard various mysterious sounds of banging doors and the crying of agonized people. Obviously the neighbors in Dominican Hill take the ghost story seriously because the doors and windows of nearby houses are painted with holy crosses and are kept shut after dark. Residents will tell you that the haunted fountain will sometimes overflow with human blood and you may run into vampires and ghosts who don't realize he or she is deceased right in the middle of the town square. You may also hear the footsteps of old dead soldiers marching on the ground, and some believe that the vampires and monsters attract stray travelers to haunted buildings to exterminate them. The building has seen many changes throughout the years. At first, the building was a refugee camp, then a teacher's camp for school seminars, then a hotel. This hotel is now a very popular historic attraction. The Philippines have turned it into a museum, but it is also one of the sites most visited by paranormal investigators. Number 8. The Brown Hotel in Louisville, Kentucky, USA The mysterious 15th floor of the Brown Hotel on 4th Street and West Broadway in downtown Louisville has been turned into a storage-only floor. In a hotel with only 16 floors, they are losing a big chunk of potential revenue. So why has the floor been off limits for so long? Well, witnesses say that the founder of the hotel, Mr. James Graham Brown, may have once had a suite on that floor. In 1937, Louisville was ravaged by a great flood. The Brown Hotel became a safe haven where city residents would ride boats into the front door for safety. Many people died in the flood. It's been a creeps this paradise ever since. The building has a long history but has been modernized many times. Today, what freaks people out is the elevator frequently stops on the 15th floor although no one has pushed the button. Footprints have been seen walking in the plaster dust on the floor. And the guests staying on the 14th floor complained that someone was walking heavily and moving furniture at night in the room above. Everyone thought Mr. Brown was broke and died, but maybe he's still upstairs pacing the floors, thinking and hammering away at his next business venture. Number 7. Monte Cristo in Australia a pregnant maid pushed from the balcony. 
a stable boy burned to death as he slept, and a baby girl thrown down the stairs. These are the sinister tales that the Ryan family believes still haunt the hallways of Monte Cristo, a Victorian manor in Juni that is arguably the most haunted house in Australia. Olive Ryan, who has lived in the unnerving farmhouse for 50 years, said in an interview that she has continuously felt the presence of the home's original owners, Christopher and Elizabeth Crawley. They are believed to have haunted the house since their deaths in 1910 and 1933. According to Ms. Ryan, the abnormal Normal occurrences started the day her late husband moved in. The house was lit up like a Christmas tree even though no one had connected the electricity yet. More recently, there are also reports of a young stable boy burning to death in his straw bed, a caretaker being shot dead in 1961, and tales of the housekeeper who tied his mentally unstable son in the outhouse for more than 30 years. As creepy as this place is, the family now does day and night tours of the house. He has been heard saying that if you don't believe in ghosts, spend one night here and you will definitely think otherwise by the time you leave. That's if you leave. Number 6. Ancient Ram Inn in England Built on a pagan burial ground, this place is documented as being so terrifying that some visitors have jumped from windows just to get away from whatever they perceived was threatening them. Now it is packed with ghost hunters and horror writers who are queuing up to spend a night with the demons. One ghost investigator who visited the house was spooked when a presence pushed up against his back and felt the wooden beams of the medieval house vibrate and tremble when he grabbed onto them in fear. A mysterious child's scream was even captured on video, seconds after a man's voice is heard to shout, Get out! Miss Humphreys, the owner of the hotel who has lived there for nearly 50 years said when she was a child growing up in this place, she was so scared of the house that she used to sleep in a caravan outside. It was normal for her to see people running out of the house screaming in terror. Once, she woke up and found a chest of drawers hovering over her bed before they crashed down her staircase. Her father, John Humphreys, at 85, was pulled from his bed by a spirit on the first night the family moved into the home, above the barn that used to be blocked off to keep the spirits in. You would think people would steer clear of this house of horrors, but visitors pack into this place nightly looking for a wild ride on the paranormal side. A lot of people love to stay at these places just to experience something new. I'm all about exploring, but sometimes I have to sit them out. To me, ghosts are all fun and games until someone gets hurt or comes up missing. Join me next time on Passport Kings when I will give you the top 5 haunted places in the world. Don't forget to share this video, then like it, and subscribe to the Passport Kings YouTube channel. So you won't miss the next installment. Go to my website www.passportkings.com to get my free book called Make Money Online so you can travel more. Usually I would say don't be afraid of the dark or things that go bump in the night. But sometimes you have to play it safe. But if visiting haunted houses is your thing, then you need to go boldly like a king of Passport King. Talk to y'all later. Peace.